In this video we are going to be uh, talking about the trigger chart and more specifically about the magic dot indicator which is the tool we are going to use in order to actually trigger okay actually jump into the trade as you know um, what we've seen so far is uh, uh, you know uh, waiting for price to retest as per few different key patterns that we've already seen on previous videos well we're gonna wait for price to retest uh, levels of support and resistance uh, key levels of support and resistance from an intra week point of view okay as price comes down to retest that level that's where we are gonna zoom into the 15 minutes time frame in order to wait uh, for whatever market reaction we get around that level either a breakout or either a bounce obviously we want to search for bounces because we are going to be trading bounces in the direction of the market flow okay so we are going to always search for a bounce in order to trigger our entry and we are going to use again the magic dot indicator uh, in order to actually click on the buy or the sell button okay are you ready well, let's get going then. All right, uh, you are now looking into my actual forex chart. Okay, more specifically into the American dollar against the Japanese yen. Fifteen minutes time frame, our trigger chart. You may also notice some uh, dots, some red and blue dots in my screen. Okay, that's the magic bounce, you know, the magic dot indicator. Sorry, which keeps track of sharp bounces that may happen on our chart, and more specifically again on the 15 minutes time frame all right basically what this custom coded indicator um, I say custom coded because it's been indeed specifically coded for me by my uh, professional programmer uh, it's not a standard indicator that you can find anywhere else uh, uh, so like I say I did hire a uh, well a professional programmer to code it for me as per my own parameters and by the way you can find the download link right under this video uh, as well as uh, you know as a uh, as a quick uh, video to show you know showing you how to use it how to install it etc etc anyway um, as I was uh, saying before it's a custom coded indicator that uh, reads or monitors price action searching for sharp bounces this is a bounce indicator again it recognizes sharp bounces in the chart for example here we have a red indicator obviously red means sell blue means uh, buy and uh, or what's the same red indicates bounces to the downside blue bounces to the upside okay so red indicator right there and uh, well you know recognizing this sharp bounce there blue indicator right there recognizing this sharp move oh, this sharp bounce to the upside another red indicator right there indicating or recognizing this sharp bounce to the downside another a blue uh, indicator there recognizing at that point well sharp this sharp move this sharp bounce that we are seeing to the upside okay that's the indicator we are gonna use in order to trigger our entry now the idea here is that you are not to take every single trading opportunity called by the indicator all right I must repeat that you will not trade signals of every single dot that you may see on your chart okay even though well as we look into the chart uh, well these trading signals do look rather profitable just by themselves don't they but um, like I say uh, you know if we want to sustain a high win-loss ratio in our trading we're just gonna take those dots okay those signals those trading opportunities called by the magic dot indicator uh, upon having a bounce of a key level of uh, a key level of intra week support and resistance for example for example let me squeeze that in let's imagine right there we saw on the one hour time frame we saw a, ma a, a massive level or, or a significant level at any rate a significant level of support and resistance on the one hour time frame okay let's assume that two days ago price uh, topped out giving us a resistance point then yesterday we saw a breakout and also as of today we've been seeing a retracement back then okay a retracement back then to retest that level right there that's the retracement okay signified by price touching respecting that level and then giving us a you know a, a bounce to the upside okay so I am gonna mark that level right there in with a thick 
I don't know, thick blue line, for example, assuming, or, you know, just for the sake of discussion, assuming that was a, a key level of intra-week support and resistance that we spotted on the one-hour time frame. Well, we are going to take only those trading opportunities that appear, or that, you know, those dots that happen in the direction of the bounce, obviously a blue dot in this case, all right, we wouldn't take any red dot here since the bounce is, take, is taking place to the upside. Uh, like I say, any blue indicator, any blue dot uh, signal that happens right after a bounce of a key level of support and resistance and obviously in the direction of that bounce. So, in this scenario, would we trade that buy opportunity there? No, we wouldn't, because that dot, that bounce, is not quite happening at the key area, at the level, or at the, uh, at the junction of the chart that we want to trade, right? Remember, we want to trade market reactions of those key levels of support and resistance, so we wouldn't take that trade. How about that one? Would we trade that? No, we wouldn't, because price is not anywhere near this area. Price has not retested that area, right? And at any rate, it's against the market flow. Remember, we want to trade in the direction of the flow, meaning bounces to the upside. So the only signal we would take on this particular uh, on this particular chart would be that one, right? So the idea here is to uh, recognize or draw those key levels of support and resistance on the one-hour time frame. As price comes to retest that level, as price does indeed touch or come, let's say, within, I don't know, five, ten pips of that level, then we zoom into the 15 minutes time frame and if we get a bounce, all right, then we trigger the first blue dot or the first dot in the direction of the bounce uh, upon the bounce in itself. If we get a breakout, we would not take any red dot opportunity. Remember, we just want to take bounces in the direction of the market flow. If we get a breakout, we don't take that trade. Okay? So, uh, uh, by the way, we take the trade. Uh, the first dot. I mean, we don't wait for the second dot, such as in here, we have a first dot, then a second dot, third dot. We don't wait, okay? Uh, we need to be nimble here, all right? And therefore, we trade the first dot in the market, okay? The first dot in the market. I mean, the first dot that appears in our chart. That would be our signal to enter long in the market, all right? All right, now I'd like to, uh, well, you know, mention something that's actually rather important. Before I forget, um, as the uh, dot appears on your chart, you don't go about clicking on your sell or buy button at that precise moment. Well, in this case, since it's a blue dot, we wouldn't just click on the buy button right away. We need to wait for that particular candle to act to. Uh, well, to close, okay? Let me mark a vertical line. The dot comes uh, comes out there. We don't click on the buy button at that precise moment. We need for this candle right there to close, okay? Once the bar actually closes, that's where we place or we click on the buy button. Why? Well, because as long as the uh, candle remains open, the indicator keeps on making its calculations, okay? It keeps on going about its own algorithm, and if, uh, you know, it can, uh, as, as, as the life bar it develops, okay, and it moves up and down, uh, well, the uh, dot may appear or disappear as the candle re remains open, okay? As the candle remains live. Once the candle closes, that, uh, indicate, that blue dot uh, will remain there forever, just as that's this one, you know, signifying this or calling this up move, and this one calling this down move. Okay, so for example, here we have a red dot. This is the uh, this is the candle attached to that dot. Well, we will need for this candle to close, and right there as it closes, uh, as it closes, as the new uh, bar appears or begins to tick. Well, that's where we would click on the sell button. Same thing here. Okay, we will need for this uh, this bar to close for the new uh, bar to become alive, and that's where we would click on our buy button, okay? That's important. Now, as far as the stop loss goes, uh, it's very easy, you know, very simple. Let's assume we are trading that blue dot there, which again, 
this is the uh, the uh, the candle re attached to that dot we will need for the candle to close right there that's where we will click uh, that's where we would click on our buy button we would place our stop loss immediately below let's say two three pips below the uh, tip of the uh, uh, of the bounce that that indicator is calling for all right same thing here if that's our sell signal we would click on our sell button right there for this down move and we would uh, place our stop loss immediately above two three pips above the tip of the bounce that this uh, you know this indicator is calling for obviously this is the bounce that this indicator is calling for right so that's where we would place our uh, stop loss here that would be our entry and our stop loss would be right there okay that's the idea here okay now let me uh, mention something that occasionally happens it doesn't quite happen that often all right but on occasion uh, you get two uh, candles uh, sorry two dots of the same uh, color in two following candles for example here we have a sharp bounce to the downside okay we do have our red dot indicator calling that bounce well uh, on occasion you would see I don't know one or two or three uh, different dots in a row okay on the same color and on two consecutive candles uh, don't you worry about that just trigger your your entry as usual as per the close of the first dot if on the second uh, on the following candle you get another dot in the same direction it's because the indicator is still analyzing this bounce here but don't you worry about that all right like I say simply trade the first uh, dot that you get and obviously you are not supposed to double trade by entering another entry on the second dot you are not supposed to do that just just mind only the first one like I say whenever this a second or a third dot happen in a row which again doesn't happen that often but whenever that happens is because again the indicator is still analyzing you know the the previous bands right but again like I say just just don't mind the consecutive dots simply trade the first one just as usual all right so recapping a little bit what we are gonna do again in the 15 minutes time frame we are gonna wait for the dot to appear after a bounce then we are gonna wait for that particular candle to close as it closes that's where we click on our buy button and few pips two three pips below the tip of the bounce that's where we place our uh, uh, our stop um, our stop loss okay for that particular buy entry uh, now as far as the target goes that's a little bit more complicated there is a little bit more to it so I'm gonna leave that for the next video so I'll be just waiting for you at the next video cheers <laughs>